And when he spoke, he go, friends, you know what you and I need? Really? Me? <laughs> I wish I had a Like that. And I, I love the way he sounded, and it drew me in, and I began to listen to how everybody did stuff. And there were, uh, then there were the big dumb disc jockeys and the famous guys. And all Johnny Hammond, he was Kansas Hamilton, he's got a mouth that's where everyone was all about, boy, the slap of the Mr. Roy Orbison, 1961. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they would do that. And I, I used that for this character on Futurama, Zap Brannigan. I thought he was a big one. I just thought that was the greatest thing that somebody would just put an addendum on what they just said because they think they're so cool, you know. I don't want to give it up yet. And he'd be like, you know, what do you I go back and sketch with boots in the Lugnadium? <laughs> <laughs> and so that's where that stuff comes from. And when Zoyford, you know, runs away, he does something like, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> and and Tim go, why did you ever choose to say, woo, 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 yeah, he's up. And I go, because I'm a stooge tonight. You can't, you can't put the three stooges. You know, the girl's going to be like, oh, you. You know, he's like, uh, I'm going to get run away and do that woo, woo, woo sound. And uh, I was, uh, that stuff was indelibly burned into my head when I was a kid. Um, that and there was a guy named Sid Caesar who, who was on 50s television. And to me, he, I don't know, I guess he was the first image that I think I remember seeing on TV and he could do dialects and he used to, he wasn't like his voice changed, it's just his whole personality would change as an actor. And I was blown away by that. I never forgot that. My mom used to keep me up, and, you know, so we could watch this crazy man at 9 o'clock on Saturday night in real time when your show of shows was on. And, uh, you never get over that stuff, and then you got to enter real life, you know, like school in the first grade and second grade. And you couldn't wait to graduate someday, even if it seemed like it was 900 years away. I couldn't wait to get through it so I could go back to being silly before I went to school. You know, before I even joined up school. And, uh, you know, imitating sounds of radiators or putting a potato masher in the window and looking at snowflakes and calling the flag. You know, sports guys. You don't even realize you're doing it. It's just something that grabs you. They say, how did you get into this? And I said, you know, darn if I know, really. Uh, it's just it's something that grabs you when uh, you're growing up. And, you know, that led me to all that stuff. And the rest of the story is that I you know, worked in radio with Howard Stern. Hey, Rob, I just farted. <laughs> You <laughs> I love that in that house 12 years ago. But, you know, I'm just so glad to be uh, here after all the time that I said, I'm going to come there. I promise I will, and I love it here. I move here in two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. I want to die in a free country. Sorry. <laughs>